Hi, I'm Mara. And I'm Dad. This is Budgie with Mara, and we're making coconut crusted hogfish with mango salsa. Alright guys, uh, went out diving the other day and grabbed a nice hogfish off the reef. So we've got hogfish and we're going to do a coconut crust. So we got coconut flakes here, some breadcrumbs, brown sugar, and some cream of coconut for the glaze. We've got the biggest mangoes I've ever seen in my life. Red pepper, red onion, a little bit of lime, and some chopped parsley. Well, first we are going to flour. I got seasoned flour here. It's flour. It's a little bit of Old Bay and a little bit of garlic salt. Nice. I'm going to flour each of the fillets just to dry them out a little bit. And this way the egg wash will stick to the fillet because wet doesn't like to stick to wet. That wet makes likes sense. to stick to dry. Mara's going to add some coconut flakes and some breadcrumbs for our breading. When you're breading for a coconut crust, you don't want to use just coconut. It's not going to be that crisp. So you do like three quarters coconut flakes and about one quarter breadcrumbs. And the breadcrumbs add a nice crunch to it. So we got mainly coconut, but we got the breadcrumbs in there to add that crunch. Here's okay, your add dish. a little bit of oil to the bottom of that. Olive oil right there. Just a little. So now we're going to egg wash, put on the breading, and then we're going to bake these. All right. So we put these in, and now that they're floured, the egg wash sticks nicely. Put them in here. Get Get lots of that coconut nice goodness. Nice coconut goodness. And then in the pan we go. We had some extra of the breading, so we're just throwing this on there. We're going to put this in the oven at 350 for about 25 minutes. All right, now we're going to turn our attention to the salsa. We need mangoes. We need red pepper, red onion, lime, chopped parsley. Don't throw it. <laughs> <laughs> so Mara, juice me two limes. All right. So chopping up the red pepper. Don't need a ton. So how much pepper are we going to need? I use about three quarters of a bell pepper. Just a nice rough chop and in the bowl we go. I'm gonna use about the same of the red onion. I like red onion for this instead of white. Now when the, the pepper doesn't necessarily need to be red, you could use yellow, you could use orange. I think the onion, you definitely want a red onion because the red onion provides a little bit of bite. Go ahead and add the chopped parsley and now we will turn our attention to the mango. With the mango, as soon as you slice this up, it's gonna be super slippery, so you really gotta be careful. I like to try to do as much of the skinning as I can with a little, what is this, like a little paring knife? And yeah, just go ahead and remove the skin. Like you can feel this thing, it is slippery. And when you're chopping something very slippery, you wanna be very careful with it. All right, so we got our super slippery mango pieces. We're just going to kind of chop this up. Lime juice is going right. in. I'm going to add some chipotle. Just a little, eh, 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 you'll be fine. Oh. A couple no. Tabasco just to add a little kick. That's why it always tastes a little spicy. <laughs> sneaky, sneaky. It's called flavor. Now we're going to make the glaze, including cream of coconut and brown sugar. We're gonna put the cream of coconut and a little bit of brown sugar in a saucepan here. Oh. And the key with this is we want it on high because we kind of want it to reduce and thick up. But this will boil and it could boil over, so you gotta watch it. You gotta manage your heat and be careful. Trust me, I speak from experience. Dad has caused the smoke alarm to go off so many times. Rumor has it that I kind of like to cook and wander away from the stove while I cook. So if you walk away from this, it will boil and a lot of times it'll boil over and hit that burner. Smoke alarm goes off and then we spend 20 minutes airing out the house. You have to set up a fan and wave our arms and open windows. But it still tastes good afterwards. 
So this is it boiling and you see how much it's raised. So you definitely want to pick a pot that's deep enough to do this. Otherwise it's coming over the top and you're going to have a smoky mess or maybe a fire on your hands. So you want to be careful. So Not you right. just want this to reduce slightly. And then this is what we're going to glaze over top of the mango salsa and the fish. Oh, it looks gorgeous. There we go. Now we drizzle the glaze on top. And that is my mango uh, salsa with coconut crusted hogfish. Take a bite, tell me what you think. All right, gotta get a little bit of everything here. Mm. I think this is our favorite um, way to have fish. Um, it's healthy, it's awesome, it's not fried, and we love it, it's like candy. I could eat it every day. So could I. You are watching Bunchy Safara, Locks Life.